within text of the same paragraph. So we're inside one paragraph, and then we're going to write a reference again. It's kind of like repeating the same reference. What do you do? Let's take a look at an example here with Kessler. So here we have a paragraph. In fact, it's a single long, oh no, it's two sentences, right? Two sentences in this paragraph. So an epidemiological samples, among epidemiological samples, sorry, I'm not good at saying that word, Kessler, 2003. So here's our first citation. This citation tells us what? It tells us the person's name and the date. Found that early onset social anxiety disorder results in a more potent and severe course. End of sentence. Now we're going to begin another sentence. Kessler also found issues with social integration and depression. So here we have a really great example of the same paper. This is the same research paper, Kessler 2003, used twice inside the same paragraph. APA style tells us that if you use the same paper, the same citation, twice in the same paragraph, you do not need to include the date the second time. That, of course, is a special rule you must remember inside the same paragraph. Actually, it's pretty common because when you write a paragraph, you mention, in this case, Kessler, and then Kessler said, and then Kessler said something more, and Kessler did something more. So it's actually very common, and this saves you a lot of trouble. You do not need to repeat that date. Another paragraph, the second paragraph, third paragraph, however, is different. You need to have the date again. You cannot skip it at that time. This is inside the same paragraph. If the repeat is in the same paragraph, however, the first occurrence was inside the parentheses, then you do need to include the date. So let's look at that a little bit carefully, hard to understand. Here we have the first time we use the Kessler citation here. The study also showed that there was a high rate of comorbidi comorbidity with alcohol abuse or dependence and major depression, Kessler 2003. In the same study, here I'm going to cite Kessler again, the same paper. But because the first time was inside the parentheses, the whole name, the name, not just the date, the name, now I'm using the name here, I must include the date. Even if I included the name inside the parentheses, such as here, Kessler, I would also still need the date of 2003 because this first time was inside the parentheses. Very confusing. This is a great example of the complexity of the APA rules. They don't give you a rule of thumb or a guideline like MLA does, but they're very, very specific about things like this. If you're using software like EndNote or Zotero, they probably will try to do this for you. But again, you've got to be really careful. I find that this kind of rule often does not work inside that automatic software and in fact can scramble or mix up my paper in general. So you need to really be careful. Again, very quickly, if you have the same paper cited twice and the first time the name of the author is outside the parentheses, then the next time you do not need a date. However, if the first time is inside the parentheses, the second time you do need a date again. You need to repeat that if it's inside or outside parentheses. It doesn't matter the second time. 